Once again, everyone, it's Eric here with a real fast Tuesday afternoon weather update. Another beautiful summer day today. We've got sunny weather, just a few thin cirrus clouds mixed in, some ice crystals way up in the atmosphere. Here's a live look outside in Niles just after 2 p.m. and down along 224 and Market Street in Boardman right by Walgreens. Uh, it is just a sun-soaked scene this afternoon. It is warm. Nothing too unusual for late August, but a handful of degrees above average. 82 in Sharon, 86 in downtown Youngstown, 83, 83 that is, in Calcutta. Berlin Center at 86, Sandy Lake, beautiful day to be on the lake today. Temperatures in the 80s. Look how low the dew points are locally. The dew point has dropped into the 40s in Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and New Philly. Youngstown at 53 is still very, very comfortable, and the humid air has been shunted out into western parts of the Buckeye State. And what an amazing forecast this is, really, for the next seven days. Tomorrow we'll see a little bit of a spike in the humidity and the dew points. With that, there could be a thunderstorm or two in the area in the afternoon and into tomorrow evening for the first day of the Canfield Fair. But then dew points will be in the comfortable zone for the rest of the fair, right through Labor Day on Monday. And then I think it turns hotter and more humid beyond the holiday. But what a great Canfield Fair forecast this is. A little bit of a cloudy day coming up on Thursday. Might even have to throw a sprinkle in the in the forecast, the chance anyway. But then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, hardly a cloud in the sky, especially over the weekend. And temperatures remain quite comfortable. It'll start to get a little toasty by Labor Day, but overall, one of the best Canfield Fair forecasts we've had in quite some time. This evening on Weather for Weather Geeks, my in-depth weather video, we're going to talk a lot about the medium and longer range, since the short range is pretty easy. Uh, so we'll talk a little more about uh, mid-September and some of the trends, both in terms of temperature and rain. Uh, we've gotten some beneficial rain lately, but we're heading back into a pretty dry pattern, it looks like, as we transition into September. So we'll dive into that on Weather Geeks this evening. I'll see you then, and I'll see you on 21 News at 6 p.m.